here we're looking at the percentage mass calculations, but it can either be carried out in the metals topic or the fertilizers topic. First example we're going to look at is the percentage mass of iron in iron sulfide. So that would be working out how much iron is in a particular ore of, an, of iron. So the first step is to write the chemical formula. So we find the symbol for iron is Fe. And the valency is written in brackets here, so it's um, Roman numeral 3. I'm going to use the crossover method here, so I write 3 underneath. And then the symbol for sulphur, it's S, it's in group 6, so it's a valency of 2. I'm crossing over the numbers so that we'll have Fe2, S3. So this is um, our first step here, looking at the chemical formula. We then take the chemical formula and we calculate our gram formula mass from it. So we have Fe2. S3. So Fe has a relative atomic mass of 56. We're multiplying that by 2 to give us 112. Sulfur has a relative atomic mass of 32. And we're multiplying that by 3 to give us 96. That gives us a total gram formula mass of 200. And eight. We're now simply carrying out a straightforward percentage calculation where we're looking at what part of the whole is the iron. So you need to take into account the fact that there are two irons there. So for our percentage calculation we are doing percentage mass of Fe. So you need to have the mass of Fe in the compound divided by the gram formula mass of the full compound finally multiplied by 100%. So for this we have 112 divided by 208 all times by 100 which gives us 0 0.54 when rounded up times 100, which equals 54% of our compound being iron. Another time when you could be asked to do this is when you're looking at fertilisers. And it's very important that you know how much of your essential element is in the fertiliser. So again, we're going to follow the same process here. We're going to write out the chemical formula. We're looking at ammonium nitrate, both group ions that you can find in your data book. So ammonium is N. H4 and it has a valency of 1. Nitrate is NO3, also a valency of 1. So there is our final formula for ammonium nitrate. We're going to use this to calculate our gram formula mass. So we have nitrogen, hydrogen, some more nitrogen and oxygen. So we have nitrogen with a relative atomic mass of 14 multiplied by 1 that's 14. Hydrogen relative atomic mass of 1 multiplied by 4 so this is 4. Another nitrogen that's 14 multiplied by 1 and finally oxygen 16 multiplied by 3 to give us 48. That gives us a total gram formula mass of 80. Again, we're going to carry out a simple percentage calculation. This time you need to take into account the fact that we have two nitrogens present, but they haven't been written together, so you need to make sure that you're aware of that within your formula. So our percentage mass of nitrogen will equal the mass of nitrogen present divided by 
of gram formula mass, and then you'll multiply it by 100. So here we have 14 plus 14 is 28. That's divided by 80, and then finally multiplied by 100, which will give us 30% of our fertilizer being made of nitrogen.